The first step in joining the physics of the very large and the very small came in 1974 from the mind of Stephen Hawking. The theory of the very small, quantum mechanics, predicts that empty space should be sizzling with particles and antiparticles, popping into existence in pairs and then annihilating one another an instant later. These particles exist for such a short time they are not considered part of reality. Physicists call them virtual particles. But Hawking realized there was one special place in the universe where these particles could become real. Around a black hole, there is an invisible line in space called the event horizon. Outside that line, the hole's gravity is just too weak to trap light. Inside it, nothing can escape its pull. If a pair of virtual particles formed just outside the event horizon, then one of the pair might travel across that point of no return before being able to recombine, falling into the black hole and leaving its partner to escape as real radiation, Hawking radiation. If Hawking is right, black holes should not actually be black. They should shine ever so faintly